One of the toughest things about playing morning golf is trusting such a short yardage and hitting a longer club. So it's 7.30 in the morning, it's a little cold here at Hacienda Golf Club. We're on the third hole, which is about a 325 yard par four going slightly up the hill, little dog leg to the right, kind of a narrow hole. Um, I normally hit a hybrid here off the tee, but today I'm gonna hit, hit a three wood because the ball's not going very far, you're not gonna get any roll. The pin's gonna be in the back position, which is the easiest, the toughest pin position here is the front because the green's so small. So you wanna be a little bit on the left hand side, just so you're not blinded by the trees and the hill on the right. I see a lot of amateurs make that mistake of they try to hit it straight, they miss it right, and they've got a completely blind shot after their tee shot for their second shot, and they've hit a decent drive or a decent tee shot. Where you wanna go is more left. Even if you hit it in the left rough, you've got a wide open shot back to that green. All right, come play this hole with me. All right, let's go a little bit down the left-hand side. Oh, sit right there. All right, pretty good. A little bit down the left-hand side. It's gonna be in the rough, but when we get up there, I'll show you why that's gonna be okay. Come on. Okay. See what we got here. All right, so we're on the left side here. We're in the rough, but it's no big deal. Because you've got green to work with to that back pin. Remember I said it was a back pin when we teed off and I, and I knew that because I can, I remember where the, where the pin placements were on one and two. So today's back, it's wet. I've got, um, I'm 10 yards behind the 83 yard sprinkler head, which is 93 to the middle. I bet the pin's probably about five, six yards past the middle, which will be, I'm gonna play it to 95, even though it's more than 95 yards to that back pin, because I wanna be just short of it. And this is where one of the toughest things about playing morning golf is trusting such a short yardage in hitting a longer club. What I mean by that is, I'm gonna hit my 105 yard, 106 yard club, which is my sand wedge, and I'm gonna hit it as hard as I can, because I know it's not gonna go that far. It's wet, it's in the morning. You don't really get flyers in the mornings. That's another thing compared to when it's dry out, and that's when golf balls out of the rough go really far. But in the morning, I've got to trust that I can hit this as hard as I can and not go over the back, because the worst thing you could do is go long to a back pin. All right, here we go. Oh, that's unbelievable. I should have hit a gap wedge. I swung hard there. I mean, I think that flew maybe 80 yards. And this is my 105 yard club, so exactly my point. Even, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty seasoned golfer. I'm a professional golfer, and I still couldn't trust that, you know, I needed more clubs. So here's a tip for all the amateur golfers. When you keep coming up short in the morning, take more club. It's just when you're so numbers oriented and you're thinking about the number, how far is it? It's not exactly like the distance. It's how far is the ball going right now? And later this afternoon, you know, at noon, that ball could have gone 20 yards longer, which is a pretty big difference, it's a 20% difference. And there's a lot of factors. It's not just the coldness of the weather or, you know, how much moisture is it in the air. It's, it's how your body feels when you're, when it's 50 degrees versus when it's 70. That's one of them. Um, how much moisture on the golf ball is another one. And all these little things equals, right now, apparently 20%. So there you go. Let's go up there. Look at that. It's unbelievable. Freaking 80 yards. <laughs> But it is, it is interesting, because that's, that's it, like. 
I mean, I knew I was going to be a little short. And I was a little short, all right. So here's a situation where I just hit my second shot. I knew it was going to play a lot longer. Uh, I took more club. I swung pretty aggressively. And it's, it's not a matter of is that a good or a bad shot. I don't even think about that. It's just another point that I think about saying, okay, I try to hit it 105 yards and here it went 80. So, and it's just something I need to remember early on in the round and keep track of because guess what? When I play the fourth hole, when I go play the next hole, I've got to put that last hole into consideration. I didn't hit a bad shot there. I hit it pretty good and it just went a lot shorter than I thought. So, well, at least I didn't miss long. I missed short, a little bit shorter than I thought. And um, I've got an uphill, long uphill putt ahead of me. Here we go. Mm. So early mornings, um, sometimes at most clubs, they, they'll mow the front nine faster because most of the members play the front nine first. This, this green has not been mowed yet. We actually snuck out before the maintenance. And with morning dew and not being cut and rolled yet, it's extremely slow. This green in one hour will pick up three feet on the step meter at least. It will literally roll another club length on a flat putt. So that's, that's what uh, the step meter means. It's, it's how many feet. How many feet will it roll when you put it on this little device and you roll the ball down on a flat surface. So again, if you're gonna play early morning golf and you're gonna get out before the maintenance, it's another thing to understand and not say, oh, the greens are so slow today. Yeah, it's slow, it hasn't been mowed yet. And they're, they're still, do on the ground. So green's not being rolled, mowed. When you mow it and roll it, you take all that dew off so it makes a massive difference. All right. Oh, that is not a great... <sighs> Should have pulled the pin out. This hole always seems to get me. It's like one of the shortest holes on this golf course. And, uh, and, and as you can see, I hit a decent tee shot, a decent second shot, left a long putt, and, you know, it's five feet short, missed a five-footer, make bogey. It's not the end of the world. This is where you can't get upset and be really emotional because it's not something, you know, it's not good or bad. Like you can three putt when you're 45 feet away from the pin, it is possible. So you don't wanna let this affect your next shot, your next hole that you play, but you should learn, or I should learn, guess what? On my second shot playing this, I should have taken more club and trusted it. It's just really hard when I was 93 yards to the middle of the green and I tried to hit a 106 yard shot and I came up really, really short. So, all right.